A public analyst, Sesu Akume, has taken the National Assembly to court over two issues. The first is to stop them from providing for agencies which are not backed up by law in the budget. And the second is to compel the National Assembly to obey the Freedom of Information Act to the letter, especially Section 2, that would mean electronic voting, electronic clock clocking and out for attendance with the records open to the public. I had a chat with Sesu Akume to discuss these issues. We've been wasting billions of naira every year for years. We waste so much money in different ways. For instance, as far back, everybody knows that um, most of our monies are used in running the government. It's used in running recurrent expenditure, not capital expenditure. The recurrent expenditure is in running the government. So we have numerous government agencies, many of them doing the same thing, just creating redundancies and wasting our money. We all know this. Everybody has spoken about it. In 2011, there was the Orosanye Committee that said there were 521 government agencies, many of them doing the same thing. He, the committee recommended cutting them down by more, up to a third or more. And then amongst these agencies, there were up to 50 of them that were not established according to law, which means they just wrote pieces of paper together and then created an agency and they'll be running. 50 of them, that was 10 years ago. As of today, we don't know how many agencies there are, but as of the last count in 2020, there were 929. So instead of cutting them, we almost doubled. The least the National Assembly can do is to do their job and establish those agencies by law so that the spending can be, can be legitimate. But if it's not so, I'm asking the court to, to interpret the sections of the Constitution that speak about the, um, the National Assembly's role in creating legislation and then about funding of, and then the control of the purse. Whether it is true that you, the, 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 the Constitution has imagined or yeah, thought about us spending on agencies that are not known to law. I want the courts to interpret that to me and whether it is a proper thing to do so. If it's not, we should stop spending on agencies that as long as you're not established by law, we can't spend on you. You have to be properly established. The other thing I want is that for every every subhead on the on the budget, let's know which act established the agency. So you have agency for X, Y, Z. Quote the act there, let's see. So that when we see the budget at the top, we can know that this one is established by law. And if there's none, we know that this one is not established or backed by law. That way we'll be doing away with billions of naira we'll be wasting on agencies that are not backed by law. And for those ones that are critical that we actually do need, but they've been dragging their feet for years, it will make them sit up and actually pass them into law and then the president will assent to it and then we can do things properly. That's one side of, that's one suit. We noticed a trend where different lawmakers are proposing bills for the establishment of tertiary institutions, medical centers, agricultural institutions in their constituencies. And here you're talking about the problem of having so many, more than 900 federal institutions in the country. I think it's, I think it's, it's, it's laziness. I think it's unpatriotic. I think it's, yeah, la laziness, laziness, and, and being selfish, self-centered, and being unpatriotic. I'll explain each, each of those. We don't have money to run the agencies that we have right now. We're borrowing to run this, to run Nigeria. If the monies were paying, people were doing that, we're all borrowing it. How is this sustainable? How long shall we continue borrowing? And then we're using much of the money to service the debts. We're borrowing and servicing debts. So we're in a hole. When you get in a hole, what do you stop doing? You stop digging. And right now, by, by establishing more and more of those agencies that are doing the same things the other ones are doing, we're digging holes. It's laziness because there's so many models to establish the hospitals and universities and that. There's so many models. One of them is public-private partnerships, whereby the government may not even necessarily need to pay a dime. But those same things will be set up. The other part of it is setting up things that are of economic benefit. Many people are setting up universities and polytechnics to provide jobs for people in their constituencies. You can't set up a polytechnic to pro provide jobs for goodness sake. How many people does a polytechnic employ? Why don't you create like special economic zones? Why don't you do such things that create hundreds of thousands of jobs without the government needing to spend a dime? 
So it's laziness. And because they don't care, they don't they don't really care about but it. That's the work of the legislature. That is their job. Up creating economic zones. Yes. This should be the work of the governor. No, it is the job of the legislators too, because uh, creating economic zones is part of the job of the federal government. That's why we have the National Economic um, Processing Zones Authority, NEBSA. That's their job. So it's for the legislators. What's the job of a legislator? It's a representation. So if the federal government has an opportunity where you can have a special economic zone in your place, then that's part of the representation because it's bringing hundreds of thousands of jobs in your own place. Then it's your own job to think about it or get experts who can help you design the thing and bring something there that will make thousands, hundreds of thousands of people employed. It's not about setting up um, a school or setting up a hospital that you're going to be borrowing to sustain. Why are we getting the money that we're going to be paying in borrowing? It's not productive. It's not sustainable either. That's why it's it's lazy. And the other side of it is because they don't really care. After all, there's money to be spent. We don't care how it's gotten or how we put ourselves into trouble. That That's a, a problem on its own. Another case you've brought before the courts has to do with the Freedom of Information Bill. The FOI Act is one of the most beautiful legislations in Nigeria. It went through so much trouble. It, 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 it took like 10 years before it was passed. As a matter of fact, former President um, Obasanjo had boasted that it would not be passed because it was going to create accountability. But it happened under President Jonathan. That's one thing we should give him credit for. He actually did sign the, the Freedom of Information Act. Nobody believed it was going to be passed. The law compels public institutions to open their books for, the, for public scrutiny. It says so many things that should be published already. We don't even need to be asking. It should be published. It says information should be organized in such a way that the public can access it. And then it says when, once you ask for information, it should be granted in three days. Three days. And if it takes too long, it should take seven days. We don't take advantage of, of it. And then the other side of it is because the system doesn't like, the public institutions don't like accountability, they don't like scrutiny, they don't like any of those. They, they don't implement it. And I, I want it implemented. That's why I have um, gone to court uh, maybe four different FOI in cases or so. I also want it established at the local government level, at the state level, and indeed with the National Assembly. With the National Assembly, I have a House of Rep member representing me. I have a senator. I don't know whether they go to, go to the place at all. I don't know whether they have hold committee meetings. I don't know whether they go for plenary because the records are not there. I'm suing because I want the records to be made available. I want to see electronic clocking in, biometric clocking in, when they clock in and when they clock out. So let me know whether they attend it at all. I want to see what goes on in their committee meetings. Do they attend the committees, committee hearings? The law says that if, when, when there are committee meetings or when there are sittings, we should get all the records. Let's know who voted for what or who voted against what. So you don't come telling me that I'm all for this. When you go back, you do something else. Let's see it. All those voting, A, they let the eyes have it, the nays, no, 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 no. D let's do the electronic voting, let's know who voted for what, so that we can know. That's what the law is about. It already provides for it in Section 2 of the FOI Act. Incidentally, it's not published. We keep hearing about senators own, um, earn this. Senator Shehu Sani had said they earned 13.5 million naira or so. Senator Alun Dume said it's slightly above 30 million naira a month or so. Why, why, are we, why are we having different figures? What do you hope to achieve by bringing up this court case? What I want this suit to achieve, like all impact litigation does, is to get us to think afresh, to think properly. Is it proper? Many of us don't know that we have 929 federal government agencies. What do we need 929 federal government agencies for, for goodness sake? Most of them are doing the same thing. And then many of them are not even established by law. Is this a proper thing? So I can just wake up one day and then write something somewhere and then create an agency and then put in the, in the budget somewhere and somebody starts funding it? Is that, are we a banana republic or something? I want us to do things in a proper way. I want us to conserve money. I want people who are paid to do their job to do it. Establish it properly according to law as it should. You'll be surprised the federal medical centers you spoke about, there are 26 of them that are not even established by law. Why do we have federal medical centers that are not established by law? What does it take to establish it by law? Mm -hmm.